beautiful brand new Amiga branded keyboard, USB. Look at that. Wireless tank mouse, brand spanking new. A500 mini joystick controller, all connected to what the heck? Hi, I'm Doug from Dynamic Computing and welcome to episode 154 of 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast. Today, we're playing with a Macintosh. Yep, a Macintosh. I do actually own one. Actually, I own like, like seven, uh, but I don't really use it for anything. What we do want to talk about actually today is a brand new tank mouse created from our friend Lucas Remus right here. He started a Kickstarter a uh, year or so ago uh, trying to create a replica of the tank mouse. Not a replica as much as something inspired by the Amiga tank mouse. You know what? Let's take a look at what he created. This is the little guy right here that was created. And you can see quite obviously that it was uh, based on the actual Amiga tank mouse. Let's compare it to the real thing. Now here's a real tank mouse right beside it. You can see it's got similar uh, structure here. Looks very similar. Same kind of angle. Uh, same two buttons. But you'll notice here the two buttons are quite different. Take a look at that and you can see that the buttons are a little bit further apart on the tank mouse replica. Reason for that is right here there is a touch sensitive scroll wheel, I guess you could call it. It works just like a scroll wheel on a regular mouse, but you can't see it. You just move your mouse up and down and it magically works. We'll show you that in a second. You can also see the color is maybe a little bit different between the two Mises, um, possibly because the one on the right is a little older, but honestly, it is a little bit lighter than the regular uh, Amiga Tank mouse was. Flipping the two over, you can see, obviously, the original tank mouse uh, uses a little uh, rubber ball that we used to have to take out and clean and you know, scrape off all the muck and guck from the bottom of the rollers. No more, because now we have a nice optical interface like you'd have with a normal um, uh, modern mouse today. But this little guy has a few more tricks up its sleeve, too. Look at the little button here. It's a little switch. One side is Bluetooth. The other is 2.4 gigahertz uh, mouse controller. If you pop off the battery compartment like so, you'll see right in there is a little standard mouse dongle. Uh, this little nubbins right here works as a standard 2.4 gigahertz nubbins and will connect to any computer like a Windows PC, a Mac PC, uh, Linux, or even an actual Amiga if you have one of the cool nine pin to USB uh, interfaces that are available. Now I, in particular, have mine set up on Bluetooth on the Mac, uh, just for convenience, one less little dongle, but it's easy to switch between them. The little button right here is the button to activate the Bluetooth, hold it down for two seconds, and the little guy goes into pairing mode and away she goes and pairs with your PC or your Mac. Now, as you notice, she uses two AAA batteries, not included. These, according to Lucas, are good for about six months. Um, we'll see if that uh, holds true. They probably would last a little longer uh, using RF than it does using Bluetooth. I think the Bluetooth probably uses a little bit more juice. How about the weight of the little guy compared to the real thing? Well, the real one is definitely a little bit heavier. Not dramatically, but uh, it, just, it just has a little, little bit more weight. But this has a surprising amount of comfort and, and heft to it. It's not uh, unwieldy at all. It's not heavy. It just has a good feel to it. The two buttons, the location of them, visually, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but when you're actually controlling the mouse, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Works perfectly as a standard mouse. 
And just because so much of us like uh, good hard facts, optical sensor, wireless, 2.4 gigahertz or Bluetooth, 1600 DPI, which is pretty good, two buttons, touch scrolling area, uh, two AA batteries, and here's the actual size here, eight, 108 by 67 by 31 millimeters, which is pretty darn close to what the original mouse was. It is also available in black, so you have the original beige or you have this black color available, which I wish I would have picked one of those up too. And what better way to test it than on the actual Kickstarter website for it. Now, of course, the Kickstarter is over, but you can still go to the Kickstarter site and click a Buy Now button, and it will redirect you to Sordon.Day, who is the official reseller of the mouse. But here you can find some information about it, the, uh, the uh, interesting stories behind it, why he created it, the technical specifications, and a couple of little videos on it and what the guts look like inside of it. Pretty cool. And you can see the scroll bar absolutely works in here without any problem. Now I mentioned Sordon is the distributor for it. If we go to Sordon's website, who is a very trusted vendor, you'll see that they do sell replacement buttons for the Amiga mouse. So we can get them in red, silver, yellow, which is actually kind of cool. Um, you can also buy the mouse, uh, 39 pounds, 40 pounds. You can get it in uh, uh, black. You can get it uh, in white. And they have it available uh, both with an adapter for the Amiga, which we'll talk about in a second, or just the adapter for hooking up to your PC or Mac. Now on the Mac here, when we launch uh, FSUAE and we go into my... Uh, Amiga 1200 virtual machine here. You can see the mouse works absolutely perfectly. Uh, it even works with the scroll wheel. So if we go over to something like uh, Amiga.org here in iBrowse, we can actually scroll using the little scroll wheel. So I'm actually using the little scroll, uh, virtual scroll wheel to scroll up and down. And it works just fine on an Amiga, just like it works fine on a PC or on a Mac. Kind of cool. So I've been using this little guy mainly on my PC for about uh, two weeks now, week and a half, two weeks. What's my opinion of Lucas Remus's awesome little tank mouse? Well, so far, I like it pretty well. I had been using a Microsoft Bluetooth mouse, which I felt was, you know, mediocre. It was fine, nothing big. When I started using the tank mouse, about the same. Decent mouse, it tracks just fine. The virtual trackpad here, it seems to be not quite as responsive as having an actual physical wheel. Sometimes you have to swipe it a couple of times before it reacts. That could just be me. It could also be the fact that it's working via Bluetooth and not via RF. And we're going to test that in just one second here. I ordered two of them. I wish I would have ordered three. I'll probably get another one from Sordon. Uh, I'd really like to have one of the black ones because I think it would be really slick connecting it up to my CDTV and having a black wireless mouse with my CDTV. Why didn't I think of that when I got bought two of them on the original Kickstarter? I have no idea. Like I mentioned, it also works on real Amigas as long as you have one of the little nine pin to USB adapters. Most of them will work that are available. There's quite a few out there ranging from like 10 to $20. Some of them support the scroll wheel. Others do not support the scroll wheel at all. So look at the one that you buy and make sure it offers scroll wheel support. The one that you can get directly from, uh, from Lucas and from Sordan does support scroll wheel on Amigas that have the software for it installed. Personally, I think it's a really cool match uh, for my PC and it's a cool match for my little Mac right here. Having an actual Amiga keyboard from Simulant that I reviewed a few weeks ago right here and then having an actual Amiga tank mouse recreation. I mean, it's just, it's fun. It's kind of neat to be able to do it. Now, the other thing that, uh, that these will work on just fine would be the A500 Mini. Uh, you could plug one of these into an A500 Mini with a little dongle it's gonna work just beautifully. 
So is it worth the 40 pounds or 30, 40 to 50 pounds, depending on whether you get it with the Amiga adapter to pick this little guy up and use it? Absolutely. You know, in part just to support the Amiga community and support Lucas and all his hard work. And also because it's just cool to be able to use a tank mouse that's been created today in 2023. It's really kind of cool. So I'd say, yeah, get one, pick it up. It's worth the money. If this thing were 100 or 150 bucks, wouldn't be worth it. But it's like 40 pounds, you know, which would be about $45 American. Pick one up from Sword End that day. Huge thanks to my patrons for making these videos possible. I really do appreciate it. Uh, here we've got a nice uh, image from the Amiga Art Contest from last year that their names are scrolling over. If you want to join in the fun, pop over to patreon.com forward slash 10 mark for more information. Thanks for joining me today on this really quick little video, quick little review of the tank, new Tank Mouse. I really do appreciate it. Please follow me on all the socials, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Mastodon, Instagram, etc. Uh, all of the links are right in the description. But until next time, this is Doug from 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast, signing out.